Last week, we celebrated our birthdays with wonderful friends in the Keys. This week, we share some of the maintenance that we have living full-time on our boat. We are a family of five from Texas who sold everything to live full-time on our 1987 Marine Trader Tradewinds 47. We have three boys, Carter, Chase, and Caleb. We also have two cats aboard, Cheddar and Tiger. For two years, we have enjoyed cruising, exploring, beautiful sunsets, loads of family fun, and brotherly bonding. We also enjoy exploring the water, snorkeling, and diving. In the Florida Keys, the Bahamas, and who knows where to next. We want to say a special thank you to all of our patrons. Probably heard the saying that if it's a boat, so if it's a boat, it's going to break. Always something to fix on a boat. Um, if there's not a project you can do, that's something that actually broke. So right now we're getting a leak on our when we turn our engine on the fuel leaks out of here. I'm pretty sure it's this this fitting here is just boiling out fuel. I think I can go get replace this piece here. We'll be good to go. Good, baby. Bye. What are you doing? I want to go out back. I am organizing and cleaning again today. Uh, I decided to do like small patches at a time. If I do a little bit every day, um, every day is the key. I can't let it go a couple weeks. I started with the stairwell. I cleaned out all the baskets and organized them all. And then I went to this mess of junk that we always have for like technology and movies and tablets and xbox remotes and it's driving me crazy so i just dumped it all on the floor and i'm gonna let the kids take care of it and then i just home i'm sorry this is the lower helm i just wiped it down and cleaned it i took everything out of this box and it's all right here and i'm going to organize it all so a lot of it is like chris's tools or leftover parts that we are still in the middle of like projects and so I make a nice little pot I think Chris is on his way home from he is he's on his way home from getting the new fuel line part and so um, he's gonna have a whole pile of um, stuff on his bed to put away because that's where I put all of his tools and get it all put away and then here he is he's back have what you need yeah, you just had the end, so you have the whole hose. There's the pile of junk to go in his backpack of tools. I'm, uh, before I cut up my line, I'm gonna make sure this actually fits onto our fittings on the fuel tank and on the engine. Are they new fittings? Yeah, they're new end pieces for that line. So it's not the hose, it's just the end pieces. Good? Still have the big mess. And what are you guys playing? Nope. It doesn't say you can't nope with this fuse. No, but still, no noping somebody who. Okay, fine. Stop. Stop, Caleb. So is it too big or too small? Uh, they only had two fittings. They had five sixteenths and three eighths. So I got the smaller of the two. And now as I'm looking at it, I'm pretty sure this is quarter inch hose. They, it's like they forced it on, so Let's see if I can force it on. Thank you for organizing this stuff. Yeah, what do we got? These are all the charger cords, like five of them. We have our Wii, our broken tablets are working stuff, movies, games, more movies, uh, 
this nice headset and headphones from Newbie. And our Xbox controllers. TV. Wrong size fitting. What do you do with all of your old tablets that don't work? Two of ours won't even turn on. And a lot of laptops. And, well, we have seven laptops on board. One works. No, two. Two work. But we only use one. I don't know what to do with all this old used stuff, and it's starting to really pile up. Poomp. Old one. New one. I will put this old one back on for now, and tomorrow when West Marines open back us up, we'll go get the right one. Every boat project you have to do twice. So. <laughs> it's really true. Maintaining all window seals and varnish on our boat is unending. Um, got my new hose. It retails for... 40 bucks. My price 32. And you're going to fix it here at the dock? Yeah, just unclip it. Clip it in. It's fixed. Chris just fixed the dinghy for us. So now the fuel line does not leak. And so now we need to fill with fuel and Carter's getting, what are you getting? We have a two stroke motor. And so as you put fuel in you put oil in the fuel tank on a two-stroke motor so we never have to do oil changes but every time we fill the dinghy with fuel we have to add oil not that hard though i mean i'm literally just filling it six gallons you always want to have a little more than less because more than so it's six so we get extra oil when's that really too bad and i'm fine that's the engine mom Twenty five dollars. Thank you. We do still have a water maker, but we haul water sometimes because it saves us using our generator, diesel, and filters. Carter Chase Caleb, so now it's my turn after Carter. Carter Caleb Chase. Carter Caleb Chase. It's just, it's your turn to go get water. Yeah. Remember guys, there's no lids. We have five gallon jugs, but we still use one gallon jugs for water because it's just simply easier for the boys to haul.
One of the maintenance items we always have to work on is our fridge. Yes, it appears that it would have stopped working and that's a bummer, but because we're always in a humid environment, uh, our fridge just, if you've noticed over the last couple of years, we just have to clean it out every six months. It starts to ice over and freeze over. Of course, that's what appeared this morning. The fridge was about 60 degrees this morning, so we've let it um, dry out all day. Now I'm just cleaning it. Caleb's helping me clean it. And then we'll just stock it full of food and get it cold again. I just flipped it at the breaker and you can hear it. It's back on and getting cold. Good morning and welcome to Talking From Our Apps. Yes, welcome. Uh, this whole month of February, we want to talk about our maintenance, uh, about um, what it takes to maintain living on a boat and the cost of actually living on our boat for this month. So um, we may not hit everything because we're just kind of filming February and some months may be different than others. But um, in this video, you saw our fridge froze over and our dinghy fuel line needed replacing. So those are maintenance issues that we didn't actually plan on doing this week. They just pop up, which is kind of general. Most boat projects we work on are because right. it's necessary, right? Yeah. So. The, uh, the refrigerator one, that's one we learned a long time ago and moved on board the boat. We thought the yeah. refrigerator was broken. Yeah. And then we did some Googling and discovered that the way that one's designed, if you pack food in there too much, it just freezes over and everything just, the freezer gets ice cold and, and builds up ice and the refrigerator gets warm. Yeah. So you just turn it off and open it up and let it thaw. But because we have such a small fridge compared to like living in a house, yeah. and With we're a family people. of five, it happens about every six months? Yeah, I'd say we've probably done it three or four times since we lived on the boat. But yeah. it usually you kind of like, oh, I think it's starting to go. I think it's starting to go. I and then you wake up and you're like, oh, yeah, it's, yeah, I got to like do it now. I can't wait. Two day yeah. warning of like, oh, that's a lot of ice. Now, knock on wood, our dinghy maintenance has been pretty minimal since we've owned that. Yeah. Um, we had to put a, a patch on the bottom where we poked a hole. Still could probably use another patch. I just don't know where it's leaking. And then. Um, we still have to pump it out and pump it up every day. Yeah. And then our. Um, but we have beat the snot out of that thing and we it's still ticking so love her she's when, taking a beating when we replace it us. we are definitely replacing it with other high field just because <laughs> it's been pretty durable that's in yeah. uh 2013 so what is, that's almost 10 years old now right yeah and we've owned it for three years now and when we bought it the kids were a lot smaller and it seemed bigger and now we've trashed the he double hockey stick out of it and we love it she's great and then it's got a two-stroke uh, 15 horse Yamaha on it and uh, I've had to reattach the shift link one time yeah. in three years that's it and it's other than that we put fuel and oil in it mm -hmm. um, I'm probably due to do an impeller in it but oh yeah probably it's been great but the two-stroke motors made maintenance on the dinghy really easy yeah, because I don't have to change oil because it's in the in yeah. the fuel. So yeah. we really like that about the dinghy part of it, or about when you're, you're dealing with a small engine. It's yeah. also lighter. That yeah. that two-stroke weighs 97 pounds or something like that. Um, yeah, that's nice. Versus, a, I think, a four-stroke of similar horsepower is you know, almost double. Yeah. Uh, uh, but we've also got tools out. I mean, our boat, I feel like it's kind of trashed. I struggle when we do a project. I struggle with doing that project and maintaining my normal daily chores. So I feel like our boat's always messy. Well, unfortunately, when you do a project, it yeah. normally takes longer than an We hour. have to do it twice, at least. Usually you do everything twice. That's true. That's the way boat life yep. goes. But I end up with like tools sitting out over here because that was for the spreader lights that when I you worked on. you couldn't even get to the spreader lights until you had to fix the dinghy. Because that had to come first. So like. Yeah. Well, and then in taking the dinghy lights down to fix the anchor light. Yeah. I found a bunch of wiring issues that I then had to address. Yeah. And I broke um, 
some pieces and I had to glue those back together for the glue to dry. And we lost the whole light in a storm. It was going to get thrown away. It, it was, yeah, but still. It's, so sometimes... And, and then you're waiting on weather conditions because there, there are days I'm like, yeah. yeah, I'm not going up there. I'm not sitting on top of the boat in these weather conditions to try and <laughs> fix something. Um, but then, you know, you had intended to fix the spreader lights and then that evening you're like, well, I can't, I have to fix the dinghy. Because yep. things just take priority. So, um, luckily the um, I don't know if you talked about cost in the video at all. Not not this week. So, uh, we will mention cost though. But the like the dinghy, um, the new the new line. I think that was like thirty thirty five dollars. Yep. Um, what was the other one you did in the video? Um, the fridge was free. The fridge was free. We lost some food. We did lose some food. Which is you know. And then um, we did some sanding. And I, I already had the... That was the one project paper. I actually wanted to do. Yeah. Was the sanding. I've actually meant to do that project since like the but day we moved on the boat. But it's not done. We haven't yeah. we haven't varnished it yet. Right. So it's... it's you get one piece and there's a lot of half finished projects on the boat that tend to be of those types. Yeah. And varnish is tough because it takes so much time. Well, Same thing with painting, And right? it's been raining all week. Like yesterday yeah. it rained all day. So there's some projects we just couldn't do. Uh, we also want to fix some of our hatches that leak. Got to wait for good weather. Which is to a do catch that. twenty-two because it's they leak in the rain, but can't you can't fix, fix it while rain. it's raining. So we kind of got to wait, and then we got to wait for like Chris's days off because it involves a lot more um, that I don't want to do on my own to be honest. But that's a pretty typical life. We didn't make yeah. this stuff up. Uh, what you saw was what about a week's worth, mm -hmm. and. Um, it is what it is. I mean, people ask us, do you need to be mechanical to live on a boat? It's super helpful. Very helpful. It gets very expensive. If you're paying people to do everything for you, you can do it if you got the money. And next week's video, we continue our month in February of doing maintenance. And um, I might share some of the cost of like the food and the shopping and some of the alternative options that we have found. Yep. But. If you have any questions about maintenance on a boat, that is what we're covering this month. Mm -hmm. And um, you'll be surprised that, I'm surprised at so far what we've maintained. Carter, what do you want to say? And remember, enjoy the journey. <laughs> Thanks for watching.